Only 11 months after performing its first taxi and ground tests, the Turkish TAI Khan fighter, a product of Turkey's TFX program, completed its maiden flight on February 20, 2024. Lasting 11 minutes, the flight was accompanied by a Turkish Air Force F-16D, maintaining gear down protocol. This milestone marks a significant achievement for Turkey's defense aeronautical industry, with particular commendation for TAI, the driving force behind the program. This accomplishment follows the debut flight of the Hürjet Training and Attack Aircraft, a domestically engineered turbojet-equipped military aircraft just 10 months prior. So, in this video, we are taking a closer look into Turkey's new stealth fighter aircraft, exploring its significance in showcasing Turkey's advancements in defense technology. Let's dive right in. The TAI Khan, also known as TF for Turkish Fighter, or MMU for National Combat Aircraft in Turkish, is a stealthy, twin-engine, all-weather air superiority fighter. Currently in development by Turkish Aerospace Industries in collaboration with British-based BAE Systems, the aircraft aims to replace the Turkish Air Force's F-16 Fighting Falcon while also targeting export opportunities to other countries. With dimensions measuring 21 meters in length and a 14-meter wingspan, the aircraft boasts an estimated maximum takeoff weight of 27 tons. This places it within the medium fighter category, alongside renowned aircraft such as the Rafale, Eurofighter Typhoon, and Super Hornet, as well as emerging competitors like the South Korean KF-21 Boramai and the Chinese FC-31. The avionics suite of the TAI Khan features an AESA radar, defensive and electronic warfare systems, and an electro-optical detection system equipped with infrared and video channels. These indigenous systems, expected to work alongside accompanying UAVs, potentially the TAI Anka, underscore Turkey's advancing capabilities in defense technology. However, the same cannot be said for its engines as they will not be a product of Turkish design and manufacturing, at least for now. In fact, Turkish aerospace industries encountered several challenges and controversies. Initially, the UK engine maker Rolls-Royce and its Turkish partner Kale were slated to collaborate on producing an engine to power the TAI Khan. However, the deal faced setbacks. As of April 2024, it appears that the joint effort may be back on track, but prototypes and the first batch of aircraft will be equipped with General Electric F-110 engines until the TAEC engine, the joint venture between Turkish Kale and British Rolls-Royce, reaches operational readiness. The two American GE F-110 turbojets are capable of generating nearly 8 tons of thrust, which increases to over 13 tons with post-combustion. This will provide the aircraft with a thrust-to-weight ratio close to 1, even during takeoff in a heavily laden combat configuration. It is important to note that Turkey's chief procurement official also mentioned the availability of an alternative engine from an undisclosed nation. Designed to accommodate a wide range of munitions, including air-to-air -air and air-to-surface weaponry, the Kayan primarily utilizes Turkish manufactured armaments, these include Turkey's first indigenous air-to-air -air missiles from the Goktug program, Kuzgun air-to-ground and air-to-surface munitions, and Roketsan's Chakir missile family. Some sources indicate that the Khan will also be compatible with the European Meteor air-to-air -air missiles and the upcoming Spear air-to-ground missiles. With three countries, Ukraine, Azerbaijan, and Pakistan, currently expressing interest in the Kayan aircraft, its potential for international success is promising. As the aircraft undergoes further flight testing and development, its ability to meet expectations and ambitions will be prone to scrutiny. In any case, Turkey's maiden flight of the TAI Khan marks a significant symbolic stride toward strategic defense autonomy. By joining the ranks of global defense industries capable of designing and operating modern combat aircraft, Turkey has firmly established itself as a key player in the field of defense technology. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. 
And if you found this video informative, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.